Hey guys, Bob here at Rooster Boy Films. Uh, I want to welcome you and uh, thank you for, for chiming in this week. And before we get started, if you like what you've been seeing and you like what you're seeing here today, remember to smash that like button, throw me a comment or two. Uh, I really appreciate it because I like uh, I like getting some feedback as to the, the direction that I'm going with my vlog. First off, we're going to go ahead and hit the updates. Check it out. No sound. No sound. All right, guys, uh, chicken update this week. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and be cutting the door in uh, for the coop, um, being that we are going on vacation. And I don't want them, lack of better terms, cooped up in the coop for a week. I've been able to every night come home, let them out, and they've been running the back fields. I'm not gonna be able to do that. So need to get this done. <laughs> All right, guys, giving you a quick update. Now, many hours later, many nicks, cuts, scrapes. Um, the door was done. That was the easy part, which I'm very happy with. Uh, I went ahead and finished putting in the little ramp that goes down. But so what I wound up doing was this. I'm pretty happy with it. It just seemed like that day was never gonna end. It was really hot, it was like 92 degrees, 85 or 90% humidity. So I'm glad I got through it without, uh, without incident. Just drank a ton of water. Now we're gonna go into my second segment, the good, the bad, the off the wall, random thoughts. Redundancy. I get it. Taking the Maryland Boaters safety course online. How many times do I have to read about having a fire extinguisher? How to use the fire extinguisher? Using your personal flotation device. Don't let your boat catch fire. Good Lord. This is like the sixth chapter I've read and all of them are saying the same damn thing. When packing for a vacation, why do some people feel the necessity to bring everything in their kitchen sink? Underwear, socks, shorts, t-shirts, bathing suit, toothbrush, deodorant. We don't live in a third world country. <laughs> 